Hello and welcome to TradeStation Easy Language Tutorial 164 from markplex.com that's M-A-R-K-P-L-E-X.com and in this tutorial I was asked by GoldPass member how you would go about creating a strategy that bought at the high of the last bar plus one tick and he went on to ask uh, we could do this in a strategy, but could we also do it not in a strategy? So we're going to look at both approaches in this tutorial. We're going to use one of the standard, as it were, legacy uh, strategies from TradeStation. We're also going to be looking at an indicator that uses the order ticket and the replace ticket. So let's first of all start with the, uh, the, uh, the strategy. And we've got that open here. And what we do, we define the value of tick, TCK, which is min move over price scale. I've just got a few arbitrary times when we go flat. And then the guts of the program is here. And uh, what we're saying is we're going to buy one contract next bar at high brackets one plus tick. Now, what that means is the high of the previous bar plus tick and then stop. That's just standard syntax. If you're not sure of everything you can put in there, for example, you might like to put in a name, then you can just right click on buy and then click definition of buy and you'll see the full uh, syntax that uh, is available. Now you'll notice if you, if you look carefully here that what I've done is actually I've made this into two parts. So what I'm saying here is if bar status one is equal to, that means if it is the last tick of a bar, then actually we're gonna buy two contracts just to be able to distinguish the two types of order. And we're gonna buy that at a high plus TCK stop. So what's going on there? Well, if it is the last tick of the bar, then we're actually going to use the high of that bar because when the trade happens, it will happen next tick. Oh, that's the earliest it can happen next tick. And that would actually be the next bar. So the high of the bar that is the bar status one equals two is actually going to give you the high of the previous bar for the next tick, if you see what I mean. And then uh, for other uh, ticks, for other uh, ticks in the bar, we're just going to do it on the high of the previous Bar. And then I've just set a, a stop loss here of 10 ticks. And so we can see that on the chart with the uh, the purple background. And if we would just look, uh, for example, just going to look here, this bar, we can see the high there is 389.650. And then if we were to go to where we bought the, uh, we made the purchase, it would be 389.675. That is one tick above the high of the bar. Now what you will find though is if the next bar opens at a higher level, in other words gaps up from the high of the previous bar, then you would with the syntax get into a trade immediately. So that's something to watch for. Okay so that's using a strategy. What I also did was created a program to use the order ticket and then to uh, replace that every bar when we get a new high. So what I'm going to do, I've got this applied to the Markplex blue background chart. I'm just going to go to analysis techniques and I'm going to set this to on. And if we were just to wait a few seconds, this is on a one minute IBM chart, then what we should see is there will be an order placed at the high of the previous bar. So this is the bar that we're going to be looking for the high for at the moment, one, two, one, six, five. Now in this program, I've not done it a tick above. I've done it actually 20 ticks above just so that we don't, we have a little bit of time to get into a trade. Okay. So that's just gone above that. Okay. So the high of that, uh, it's actually uh, just set up the order confirmation. So the, uh, the price estimated one, two, one, eight, seven. So I'm just going to say yes. And you'll see the order there on the chart. Now let's just check what the high of that bar actually was. Should be point so one two one six seven, and we've got the thing at the uh, stock market order at one two one eight seven. So that's exactly twenty ticks above that value. Now what's going to happen now is we're going to wait until the end of 
this bar and then we're going to actually replace the order because we need to move it to the high of what would be the previous bar but actually this bar so there you can see we have a confirm order replacement it's now moving that to 12190 so I'm going to say yes and let's just check that that is the correct value yeah 12170 plus 20 ticks which is um, a, a penny for IBM then indeed we uh, we changed it to the right place and that's going to continue every bar so what I'm going to do I'm just going to turn that off so we don't just keep getting those replace orders happening but what would happen is when the price actually hits this value then it will get into a trade or it should get into a trade soon after that okay so let's have a look at that program I've called this one tutorial 164 order ticket we've loaded some namespaces again we've defined the, the uh, tick the TCK value and then we're using uh, an order my order we're using a replace ticket rep ord ticket and then we're also using an intrabar persist variable in integer variable called state of order now what we've also done here is by going to the toolbox and clicking on actually two two items the order ticket and the replace ticket so let's just see if we can refine those so order ticket and replace ticket just double clicked on those and then in each uh, for each one we just click on order ticket go to properties then we can set that up and what I've set it up as symbol I've done this for a stock my account so I'm getting using get account ID uh, brackets I'm buying five and it's a stop mark stop market order the duration is day and for initial value for stop I've just put in high and a stop price offset of 50 and then for the replace ticket what I've done is get the quantity or change um, put the quantity of five and type stop market and then we uh, we change the value of the stop market order in the program so having set those up what we can do is now let's just go down here to show you the what happens at the end of each bar so this is the end of each bar and for real-time bars so what we do is we say the order ticket dot stop price is equal to high plus 20 times tick so we're changing what the stop price is then just once we're sending that order so we're saying that we're going to send order ticket one and then the resulting order is going to be called my order and then we want an update event so the syntax for that is my order dot updated plus equals my order underscore updated now if you're not uh, familiar with what that syntax is and of course you can copy what I've done there is you could go to the dictionary and type in order then find the relevant order which would be here and then we need to look at all the the various syntax for this object and we'll find here updated then if you click on the updated you'll see what the syntax is for the event for, for an update for this order and uh, you'll see here my order updated plus equals my order updated that is what we're doing there that, that when it is updated that will then trigger the method here which is my order updated object center uh, sender order updated event args and the only one we're interested in is the state of the order using my order dot state again if you were to click on options and use enable autocomplete it will show you the options the, the properties of my order but what we're going to do every time it updates we're going to store the state of the order in state of order and I've made that intrabar persist because this might actually not happen on a tick it probably won't exactly on a tick so we need to make that intrabar persist and then what we say is if that value state of order is equal to four okay let's just check what four means I've written I've included 
all the uh, enumerated order states here. So we've got unsent, sending, sent, send, failed, received. If it is received, in other words, four, and hasn't been filled yet, then what we're going to do is we're going to set the replace tickets uh, one stop price, which is going to be H plus 20 plus TCK. Bear in mind, this is happening on the last tick of that bar. And then we're going to uh, replace the order using my order dot replace, replace ticket one. And that is the alternative program. In fact, it is an indicator. So uh, there we have the, uh, the two different options. And of course, we can make uh, that program a little bit more fancy, but I think that's a, a bare bones way of doing it. And hopefully this will be useful. If you are interested in TradeStation Easy Language, please subscribe to this YouTube channel. Please also go to markplex.com and join the email list for the newsletter. Also, if you're interested in these videos, there are plenty more here on the channel, or if you go to markplex.com, you can also see many tutorials, free tutorials and programs. Thank you very much.